It's an ancient Chinese art. I'm talking about face reading that perceives one's character and fate. And a good place to start is in the news. Like Wolf Blitzer, his forehead is high and wide with a receding hairline. An aspect slated for big things, says Chinese face reading. And with Blitzer's protruding eyebrow structure investing a certain prominence to his nose, one might guess at his Jewish ethnicity. That's a boon when telling the news. Jews are saluted for being smart. Smart enough to beat the fake news rap. It's really an important part of our democracy to have an excellent world-class news organization like CNN is, like other news organizations are, then it's, it's very concerning, very worrisome of course that the is. president of the United States, you know, goes after us the, the way he does. Does it ever make you mad? Yes. It does, yeah. It, it makes me very mad. I, 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 I imagine it does. But unlike some people, I never really see you get mad, and I watch we, you a lot. It, and it, I, it I makes me very uh, upset. Uh, to see when, when he says, you know, we're fake news and we're the worst, and he points at the journalists at, at these events, and he says, you know, we're, we are not the enemy of the people. And you're not the enemy of President Trump. Democracy needs lots of smart people like you, Blitz. But not just the same familiar faces. I mean, Chinese face reading could stand some variety once in a while with some fresh diversity of views. Well, we have Anderson Cooper. He's diverse in a certain sense. He came out a while back just like Shepard Smith. With an M-shaped hairline, Chinese face reading says this type can build a career from scratch and bust through all kinds of barriers. Being gay is no longer a barrier but a boon when telling the news. If you can't trust someone who's hetero, then a gay will give it to you straight. Story tonight from the intersection of politics and human lives. Texas Republicans recently endorsed a therapy that purports to turn gay people straight. It's known as reparative or gay conversion therapy. Keep it honest, there's really no scientific evidence it works and plenty of reason to believe that it's actually harmful, for, particularly for minors. Notice here that Cooper squints when saying the therapy is harmful to minors. In Chinese face reading, those who like to observe things in a squint manner are suspicious types, adept at scheming and highly vigilant. Well, right. Cooper's vigilantly protecting gay miners from Christian straits. Notice, too, that Cooper's lips pucker up in places. According to the Chinese art, this is a mark of sensuality, a proclivity to satisfy the senses. For when reporting the news, it's the feeling, the look, that imparts the view, like a medium of the message. Like Andrea Mitchell, her mouth gravitates toward a frown. And what's striking are her eyes, which displays a spastic aspect. Chinese face reading marks this as an inherent alienation. President Trump is denying a new report that he considered restricting former President Obama's access to intelligence briefings last year. Joining me now is David Cohn, the former deputy director of CIA, the former undersecretary of Treasury for terrorism and financial intelligence, which means a lot of sanctions back in your day. Yes. Thank you very much, David. Let's talk about these security clearances. Is there any president at all for withdrawing a former president's clearance? Um, the issue here, I think, fundamentally, is that you have a president who is abusing his power. That's fine for fake news. But what's really at stake here is how Mitchell alienates viewers from grasping presidential license by throwing out a straw man and acting as if Trump had actually revoked Obama's security clearance which he did not. And even if he did, security clearance is an administrative privilege of the executive branch and not a defined retirement benefit from government service. Maybe Jacob Tapper can do better. With flat and sagging cheeks, Chinese space reading marks the man as wanting it both ways. Clever but dishonest is the reckoning with a certain sourness mixed in.
Welcome to the lead, everyone. I'm Jake Tapper. We begin on this Friday afternoon with our politics lead, President Trump, escalating his war on current and former national security officials, ones who either support or have been part of the investigation into any possible conspiracy between the Trump campaign and Russia. Before departing the White House today, Mr. Trump defending his decision to strip former CIA director John Brennan of his clearance, and he fired back against the charge he is seeking to silence critics, plus... He threatened to take action against others. Notice the sinking cheeks expressing skepticism and disapproval with that typical sour tapper look. The messenger is the medium. The president made clear again today that these decisions are being driven by his resentment of the Russia investigation. It's a continual carping and tearing down. A culture of critique as the book calls it. Or is it a witch hunt? That whole situation is a rigged witch hunt. It's a totally rigged deal. It's not us. It is a rigged witch hunt. I've said it for a long time. Chinese face reading says nothing about colored hair or a hair comb every which way. Now that's a witch hunt. Only Trump's hairdresser knows for sure.